is something called a checked and unchecked keyword in C sharp, right? The so checked unchecked keywords are used to handle integral type exception. So are used to handle integral type exception. So what is integral type exception that we will see? According to MSDN, checked keyword is used to explicitly enable overflow checking for integral type arithmetic operation and conversion. The unchecked keyword is used to suppress the overflow checking of integral type arithmetic operation and a conversion. What it means? MSDN is the uh, Microsoft documentation side. So we are learning, uh, we are learning C -Sharp programming language. C -Sharp programming language is provided by Microsoft and the website, right? The official website for the Microsoft is MSDN. Anything, anything you can uh, uh, find in the Microsoft. Okay, so let's type string in C sharp and uh, string in C sharp MSDN. So this doc dot Microsoft. This is nothing but Microsoft document, and this site uh, will generally refer to as MSDN, Microsoft documentation, right? So this is the documentation of Microsoft. So everything, you will find everything. So see, this is the string, string, all these things are there. So everything, whatever uh, documentation they are providing, they are providing as part of their Microsoft website. So this website, we generally refer to as MSDN. MSDN means Microsoft documentation. As per Microsoft, what they are saying, now check the keyword is used to explicitly enable overflow checking, overflow checking for integral type, Operations and conversion of integral type operation and conversion means what? Now, whenever we are declaring any integer, integer, integer data type or integral data type, then every data type having some maximum range and minimum range. Yes or no? Yes. If you are storing one value which is beyond the size of that data type, then what error we are going to get? We will get overflow exception. Right? So. Yes. To handle that overflow exception, we can use checked and unchecked keyword. If we use checked keyword, then it will throw the error, overflow exception. But if we use the unchecked keyword, it will not throw the overflow error. Rather, it will give us some garbage value as the output, right? So let's see this practical. See? So in this case, you can see I'm using max value, right? And max value. And I'm just doing some addition. And as you know, this is an integer, the max value. And this is integer, the max value. So once you perform this addition, you cannot store the result in this because already max is the rest. Na? So in this case, what you will get? You will get minus two. Minus two means what? It's a garbage value. It is not our expectation. So if you go to the definition, you will see this is the maximum value. So when I add this value two times, then the output I am expecting is it, uh, the one and the, what I am getting is the one are two different. Yes or no? So I am getting two, minus two. But my um, but our as per our thought process, the value is this. And if I am adding this value with this value, then the output, uh, then the output is a different one. But we are not getting that output. We are getting minus two. Minus two means it's a garbage value. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Right. This, this is okay. What we expect is some error. So in this case, we are not getting any error, but our expectation is we should get any error. This is where the check keyword help us to achieve the throw exception. Right. So now, now instead of this, what I'm doing, I'm using the, so this is the default behavior. The default behavior is it will give you some whenever you, uh, it will give you some garbage value. Instead of a garbage value, if you want that, it should throw me some error, right? See, as soon as time, I'm getting some compile time error. Okay, so I'm doing the mistake. This is my expression. And after this expression, I'm just using the checked keyword. So in this case, 
if you run the application you will get some arithmetic overflow exception because in this case if you uh, see now it is your requirement whether you want a garbage value or whether you want to throw an exception right if you want to garbage value then you don't want to provide the checked qr right by default it is going to give you some garbage value but instead of a garbage value if you want to throw some exception when the uh, overflow is there when the uh, range is exceed then you can use this checked qr right so once you use the checked qr then you will get this overflow exception then what about the unchecked keyword? Now, unchecked keyword is same as the default one. If you are using the unchecked keyword and if you are not using any keyword, meaning it's going to be same. The default is unchecked, right? If you are not using unchecked, then by default it is going to be unchecked. In by default, what is value we are getting? We are getting minus two. Now, if I use the unchecked keyword, then again, all I'm going to get the same value, minus two. Is that clear?